Hello there assassins, welcome back to another Wheel Assassin Guide. This is a really exciting one today. I am finally, finally, finally doing another collab. Now this one is with the legendary Mr. Charlex. Now for those that don't know Mr. Charlex, well, he has been with the channel for god knows how many years now, almost since the beginning I'm pretty sure, and um, he's been one of my most dedicated subscribers I would say. But Mr. Charlex is also so cool because he owns his own channel and runs his own channel and makes his own wicked content. Now, the content on Mr. Charlex's channel is stuff like playthroughs. He's just recently started doing playthroughs, which I 100% recommend going to check out. But before that, he did loads of replica builds for the big YouTubers like Dan TDM's entire Mr. Triorus kind of base thing. I'll be honest, I'm no expert, but if you want an expert, Mr. Charlex is your man. He is a legend. And he is still doing some like crazy tutorials as well. So definitely go and check him out. Speaking of tutorials, the reason you're here today is because we will be building the TARDIS together. Now this is of course from Doctor Who. It is a very, very long running show here in the UK. I think it's one of the most long running shows um, in the entire like history of television here, which is mad. But um, yeah, basically the idea here is with this collab is I will be building the exterior of the 15th 15th Doctor's TARDIS 15 that's crazy and uh, Mr. Charlex will be doing the in, 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 hold on the interior of this TARDIS so if you'd like to go ahead and furnish this TARDIS of course we've got a little joke here uh, this TARDIS is bigger on the outside than it will be on the inside but <laughs> <laughs> that is the little pun for you all. If you want to go ahead and complete it, head on over to Mr. Charlex's channel and you will be able to build a full interior for the awesome Nakuti and his 15th Doctor. So definitely go and check that out. Without further ado though, let's get ourselves some materials and get building this amazing time machine. Let's go for it. All right, well then assassins, the first step, we are going to be building a 38 by 38 block base for our TARDIS. As you can see down there, we have a, like a little sort of plinth that it stands on, um, but that is actually part of the police telephone box. So we're gonna need to go ahead and um, yeah, build that. So we'll take ourselves some blue terracotta. We will go down to the ground and we will go ahead. I'm gonna try and line up with my original one, but I'm not gonna worry too much. You know what, I won't because it's that big, it'll just get lost. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. There we go, 38. Now we need to do this all again, but going this way. So number one is here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight. Oh my word. Ah. Now, this is where you want to double check your work. Now, if you have yourself exactly 38 blocks, then perfect, you're ready to move on. If you don't, on both sides, of course, starting with number one in the direct corner, then please double check your work and then we will continue. I'm gonna do my double checking in a second. Um, I'm just gonna fill this into a, a, like a big old square firstly. So I'm just gonna run up this way, up to the same position as the other side, there we go. And then use this one to come back on myself. And then hopefully it'll connect up. And if they do line up, which they do, you should have a very, very big square on the floor, which we do, which is great. So we're now gonna go ahead and obviously double check your work. But once you've double checked and everything is looking spick spam, go ahead and build this up to two layers in height. So let's just go around the edge one more time and then fill in the center. Hmm, fill in the center. Yeah. yeah, fill in the center as well. Okay guys, you got this, let's do this and we will be ready to crack on with the next step. Awesome work assassins, that looks awesome. Now we're gonna to need to go ahead and build ourselves quite a big section next. Of course, we have a lot of height to get. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and uh, we do need to go ahead and build these sort of structural sounding details uh, that will make up the base sort of area of our TARDIS. This includes obviously the four corners and then the four sort of interlaced um, sides, these ones here between the door panels. So these are actually very, very big. So definitely stay tuned. Right. What we want to do is come down to a corner, jump in, and then build three, like so. 
We want to find the middle block, but we'll do that after the corners. So we'll go to the corners first and just build these three. Like this. And then again up this way. And over here, of course, on the fourth one. There we go. Awesome. Now what we'll do is build... Well, we have ourselves two as the surface area for these ones. But they will go right the way along. So what I'm going to do is raise them up by two. Oops, my bad. So all of these on the second layer high. There we go. And then connect them on the lowest point. All the way around. And obviously a block in from our previous structure. I promise you all this hard work will be worth it in the end. <laughs> it's going to look awesome. All right, there we go. So now what we'll do is we'll go to the corners just here. Obviously after the corners on the actual row that we just made. And we'll count 13 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And on 14 place a block. This 14th one can actually go along for 6 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that should be in the dead center. The best way to check if it is, is to count after it for another 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Perfect. We do this on all four sides again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 for those six. Then again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Perfect. Okay, lots of counting, but we got there. So we have these, uh, these, all these sides now, which looks awesome, right? But we're going to go ahead and build all of these up to 72 blocks in height. Now that includes this one down here. So one, two, and then <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Many unbearable hours later. 70, 71, 72. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, of course we need to double check our work. It is the most important thing in this tutorial. So there we go, assassins. I've checked my work over and over again, and this does go to the 72nd block up there. This is obviously starting on this block down here. So now what we need to do, we're going to do this off camera because it will take a long, long time. We're going to build up every single one. So this corner, this block, this corner, this block. By block, I mean this entire block of six. This corner, that six, and that corner, all the way to 72. We have this one as our baseline, so we know that this is actually the 72nd one, and we can line everything up with it. So let's get all of these to 72 blocks, and then we'll continue. Good luck, guys. You got this. I promise. All right, then, assassins. Once you've done that, by the way, it's looking awesome. You're going to take yourself some more of this blue terracotta, and we're just going to go ahead and connect all of these points together. At the very top here, of course. So they go all the way around, and they'll make up a very, very big square up here. Now, I have grabbed some swiftness, as you can see in my inventory, and that is to help us out if we need to, like build another very very tall section and place a lot of blocks swiftness can be very very useful especially in creative mode which is kind of in interesting isn't it but it does work also the other thing that will help you out is slash fill and i'll show you how to do that in just a moment so the next thing we're going to come down to any one of these kind of big old strips that we've made obviously we have two strips on each of the four sides so we're going to come into this one firstly we'll go behind this and what I'm going to do is build up from here, so I'm just up to the cusp of this, so I can see it now on the front. Build it along here, so I've gone in like a block. And then I'm going to build all the way up, actually the whole way up, to the very, very top. Which could take a moment. Remember we got the swiftness. Here we go. And then all the way along to reach here, and then all the way back down. <laughs> and we do this all over on every single one but there's another few steps yet that we need to complete so you can see we're starting to build what looks like a TARDIS door which is pretty cool we're also going to go in down here 
We want to go back even further. So one block in again, build up. So you're going to be coming out of this, uh, this section we just made. Like that. So we've gone up from the base. One, two, three. The third one is where we're at. Obviously we don't include the base here. So one, two, third one is where we're at. All right, this one needs to go to 16 blocks and this is where we can use the slash fill. We're basically gonna make these massive panels. There's gonna be three of them on each of the doors. And then of course there'll be a window above. So you can see here, we have this panel, this panel, this panel. The bottom one is the actual biggest. It's 16 blocks in height, whereas these two are 15 each. So slash filling, this is where it comes in handy. What we're gonna do is highlight this lower left block down here. I'm gonna go ahead and open my chats and command window. I'm gonna go ahead and type in this box, slash fill minus five, five. Well, your coordinates will be different to mine guys. So don't copy my coordinates just here. You'll have a prompt in the bottom left corner of your screen, which will tell you the coordinates that you need to input for your block. Of course, we're on different worlds. So of course it will be different. So mine are those numbers and this number. You'll have three numbers, of course. Then you want to input this and it will say error. That's absolutely fine. That just means it saved the information for you when you get the rest of your command ready. So we're now going to find ourselves the 16 one high. So I'm going to go this way. I'm going to count up 16. So number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. I'm going to highlight the 16th because we want it to fill this entire area up to here. Open my chats and command window again on this block. Click up so I get my previous command back, the one that errored. Skip all the way along so I'm one space after my last number. And then input the rest of my coordinates just here that it will give you on the left side of your screen. And once it's done that, once you have six numbers on your screen, you want to go ahead and look through this list of materials. But we're going to input ourselves blue underscore terracotta just here. You can see it's highlighted just there, blue underscore terracotta. Perfect, that's what we want. We input this one and it fills the space up for us. 150 blocks should be filled. And there we go. How cool is that? So all we need to do is basically do this over and over again until we have all of these panels filled in. So it's, it's a bit of a long one, but if we go ahead and start doing this together, so we'll build the outline first and then we'll leave the slash filling to do afterwards. So you of course encapsulate our little panel by building a bit of a barrier for it that goes all the way up to the ceiling and then this way you could slash fill the section as well um, but it might be worth just doing this by hand as it's only one block it takes a little bit of time but that's okay build to here make sure it comes above the previous lip there you go so you've got that in there like so same as that one and then of course our panel comes behind this one. So in here. Awesome. So now if we do the same again, slash fill, input these three coordinates to begin with. There's my three, input that one. I'm gonna find the 16th over here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. On the 16th highlighted, up on my chats and command window to get my uh, command back. And then inputting the last three numbers. Make sure you guys have different ones because it will definitely be a problem if you don't. And then blue underscore terracotta just here. Input, boom. We have ourselves two panels ready to go. Now we're gonna duplicate this all the way around now, guys. So we'll do this lower level together, um, but we'll do it off camera. So we're gonna go this one, this one, this one, this one, and then back around those sides for those two as well. All right, are you ready? You got this, trust me, it's absolutely fine. Slash fill would be your friend. All right, let's get this done, and then we'll get back to the next part. Well, there we are, guys. Step one is now complete, and that looks awesome. It's kind of oddly looking like a bar of chocolate, you know, like with the panels that you can sort of break off and then have the lovely chunks of chocolate. I, I think I'm just hungry, to be honest, but <laughs> it looks great. Okay, the next thing we can do is to take two blocks above this section. 
so not anywhere on the 16. We just want two blocks that go from one side of our little silhouetting part to the other, like that. And they're going to section off each of these panels individually. Now the idea is here, I'll do two with you guys and then you can do the rest on your own. So we do that, we section off, then we do the 15 behind this. So as we did the 16, it's of course going to need to come up and over the section we've just built. So of course it's number one now, as it's on the same line as the 16. We want 15, so you can use slash fill again or you can do this by hand. So I'm going to go here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then I'm going to go ahead, make this into a big old rectangle. Obviously fill in all the blocks in here. Oops, in here, <laughs> not out there. Now I don't know if it's a, a swiftness thing, like if it actually does make a difference or it just feels like it makes a difference. If anyone knows for sure, let me know in the comments below. But I feel like it does, it just, it, maybe it's a subliminal thing. But there we go. So we have ourselves a 15 for this next panel. And then we want to go ahead and like block this one off with another two. Like that, so another two blocks like we did the 16. So 16, two blocks, 15, two blocks, and then another 15 up here. So get up to the same layer. There we go, number one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Make sure to go ahead and make this into a rectangle first before filling in all the details because of course you want to make sure you've got everything up to the right height. I said details, there's not really any details on a blank wall, but <laughs> I hope you knew what I mean. Mean what oh, speech. It's a real problem for some of us. <laughs> Alright. We build up to 15 just here. There we go. So we have 16, 15, 15, with two dividing. And then at the very top we'll do another two. And this will be before the window. So obviously very, very important. I believe it's two. Yeah, it's two just there. Perfect. So let's do this all again over here, and then we'll do it off camera for the last sort of um, six just there. So again, back here, we want to get up to above our silhouetting part. Above our dividing, actually. Because obviously we have the two there. So come above. Build yourself 15. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Great way to double check your work as well. If it lines up with the other side, you've done them both correctly. If it doesn't, there's always time to improve. <laughs> oh, that happens to me a lot. Right, especially with the planning. Okay, so. Going up and filling in this to the 15. Guys, in the comments below, I'd love to hear your favorite Doctor. Your favorite Doctor Who Doctor and your favorite Doctor Who episode. Do let me know in the comments below. So, 16, 15, we need the two to divide them. That's our second sort of bridge across. And then we'll build up again to start this new layer for our final 15 for the panel. Two, three, four, oops, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Is it in line? It is indeed. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Getting up to 15. And then filling in my big rectangle just here. You can see we're starting to build some height now, which is great. <laughs> I was worried we weren't going to get like very, very high at all with uh, some repetitive sections. But luckily, this TARDIS is very repetitive in its design, which is kind of helpful for us. So we build up the 15. And then finally, adding the two up top. That will separate the panels from the windows above. So there we go. So once you've done that all the way around, we will continue with the next section. Let's get this done. All right then, so we now have four sides all paneled up or looking like chocolate bars, which is awesome. We're now gonna grab ourselves a few more materials because we were kind of lacking in materials. We're gonna take, of course, the blue terracotta back, white stained glass panes, a verdant frog light, black concrete, and light blue stained glass panes. Now we'll do this very slowly, so don't worry. We're going to go to the window panes firstly, and what we're going to do is we're going to build on top of our two that we have previous. 
we're going to leave a gap of four. No, sorry, three. One, two, three. And place one. Leave a gap of three. Place one. And you should have three to the end. Perfect. Now we're going to do that on all of them, but I'll only show you how to do the one, and then you guys can do the rest on your own. You got this, don't worry. Okay, next thing we can do is we're going to go ahead and build from the top, and we're going to make this into two. So we just need to build a row up here, like so. So we now have two at the bottom and two at the top. Let's go ahead and build one, two, three, and fourth one in, all the way down to connect to the previous one. And then again here, leave a gap of three, one, two, three, four, down here. So we have these three, three block slits kind of in the side of our um, rectangle here. Now we need to find the middle of these. Now I do have the dimension here, but I'm just going to count quickly. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and on the eighth one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on eight, just here. So we build a, a long row of three just there. And that should leave you with another eight up here for the window. Sorry, seven for the window. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whew. So you have seven and seven for all of these six windows here. Now then, before you put the glass on, we're going to come behind them and build ourselves kind of a, a silhouetting thing with our verdant frog lights. So we'll go all the way around these. Making sure there's no blue terracotta being shown on the inside. Like this. And then once you've done the silhouetting part, you can literally go behind these and build them up. Now they are quite bright, so it may hurt your eyes, but <laughs> get it done quick and it'll be okay, trust me. <laughs> there you go. If you go straight up from the bottom, they won't change direction like this and it won't look a little bit messy. So just keep that in mind. There we go, and these ones as well. Almost there now. And then this one. And then we'll go ahead and place ourselves white stained glass panes on the uh, blue terracotta, in the front of course. A little bit tricky in the middle because obviously you have to line up with the panes and that is a pain. <laughs> so if we do the edges first, it might actually save you some time. There we go. And then we'll come to the middle. And if you do it from the bottom, because it's a bit of a bigger section to work with, it might actually help you out a bit. Be a little bit easier. So here as well. Then of course this one. And the one above. And here. Oh, there we go. Sorted. So yeah, that's what we need to do for all of these other ones. So if you guys can remember the steps, let me just quickly recap. We make sure we start on this two, of course. We go in three blocks from the corner and then place one on the four. We leave a gap of three and do a four again. And then we leave a gap of three and towards the end. Then we go up ourselves eight blocks on the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, on eight. We build a nice long row across all three windows. That separates the two lots of panes, which should be equal to seven each in height. And then of course you wanna build down from the top for one layer here in order to have two at the top, two at the bottom. And then for the frog lights, you go ahead and surround them silhouetting the glass panes so they don't connect to the glass panes because otherwise we'll have this and you have these little lines that connect and it can look a little bit strange so there we go if you guys are confident to do this i'll leave you to it but if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask me in the comments below and please make sure to refer back to your original one this will come in handy it's like a template now all right let's get this done oh my word i don't know about you guys but my fingers are hurting after placing one of those glass panes <laughs> but we did it it looks awesome it's starting to really look like a TARDIS which is awesome but we still needed to get to look like that get to look I don't know what I'm trying to say but there we go all right so how do we do that well we're going to take the corners and we're going to go up 
just a couple more blocks. We want about... Hmm, let's go for about five. One, two, three, four, five. Just for now. What we're trying to do here is build this out here. And then we'll build the other side to five. One, two, three, four, five. And this out here. This long row will come out on itself. So to connect to the other side. We will go up three blocks. Uh, no, four blocks. So one is here. Two, three, four. And now long. And then connect to the other side. And we can also smooth over this part of the top now as well. There we go. So we have this big, long sort of um, rectangle just kind of sticking out of the, uh, the previous build down here. It makes it look a lot more 3D, which is what we're trying to go for. And what we want to do with this is we're going to go ahead and build three lots of our blue terracotta in. So number one is here. Two, three. Literally like so. <laughs> and then we want ourselves in the middle here two lines of three black concrete. So one, two, three. One, two, three. So six in total. Remember the blue up this way for two lots to make that into three. And then one, two, three. One, two, three. Now we'll take ourselves verdant frog lights for eight on both sides. Coming inwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we'll do ourselves the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A good marker for it is this part, literally there. As you finish the windows, that is where you stop. And then we'll take another two black concretes on both sides before doing another four for two lots with verdant frog lights up here. Now we must do this on all sides. So we must build the other two corners up to five. So one, two, three, four, five. And again over here. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll of course build the block out. We'll run it all the way along to the other side before going in here. And then this way as well. Back in. This one here, out as well. And then back in before the corner there. Of course, these go up to the four. So number one is here. Two, three, four. And then back on ourselves for, <laughs> for building this very uh, skinny looking rectangle. And again, two, three, four. All the way along, there we go. And again, two, three, four. And then there we go. And then what we do is fill over this part. And we're trying to build a massive square up top. And then of course you see the roof is kind of angled inwards uh, in like a pyramid shape, which we'll sort out afterwards. For now though, you want to go backtracking and doing yourself what you did just down here. You want to of course take yourself two more blue terracottas before these six black concretes. And again up this way. One, two. And then six black concretes. And again. And I think you guys know where this is going. We're literally copying what we did on the front on all four sides or on the other three sides. So if you want to go ahead and do this, feel free and then we'll get on to the next step. Guys, just take a second and admire your handiwork because that looks awesome. It really does scream TARDIS and it just looks brilliant. So, well done. We're now going to take ourselves onto the top and do this pyramid section I was talking about earlier. It's a little bit confusing, so definitely stay tuned. If you need to pause the video, feel free. And of course, ask me any questions down in the comments below. Okay, from the corners, we want to go in and add a block here. All these corners are the same, by the way. So what we do to one, we do to all the rest. So just a block there. Then I'm going to build one, two, one, two from it. So I've got the points here, but I have a cluster of four at the bottom. This one, I'm going to connect to the back here for one. Then I'll do two on this side and two on this side. It's so like so. Then I'm going to build here for one, two, one, two, one, two. And then add in a block here and here. And those will go back towards the other corners. We're for now trying to build up to the point and then we can build all of them the same and then connect them all in the middle, if that makes sense. So we have this for these three. Then we're going to go up one, two, one, two behind the threes. Again, we must do the same. So we're going to connect in the middle like this. 
and then add in one and one just like so so we got the three there like so we need to get to behind this two and two so you have this shape again as we did at the first one like this and then what we're going to do is catch up with the other corners to be able to do the same again so i'm going to go down here add in my block then my twos and i'll do the same and again now of course this two has a much bigger surface area than just two of course it needs to be like these so what we're going to do is we're going to run this along to the other side down here this one as well this one as well and of course this one to go back to the start let's build this platform in here so of course if we these are our twos and we now have this row connected we need to do like a three in the middle there so we're going to go one two three and then again one two three so on the inside this is best to build one oops, two three there we go so we have a much bigger surface area now just there then of course it goes up to three so two here here and here and again two 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 and again two 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 sorted looking good now if we go ahead and extend this one all the way to the other side these ones just stay out this this like three block kind of line that we've made or diagonal line so we'll just build them all the way to the other side ah there we go <laughs> i lost that one there we go sorted and then this next one is going to go just again into the single ones up into the corner down here and we'll add a bit more of a surface area to the middle part in a second for now though we can just literally make another line going around the outside oops there we go and back on ourselves down here keep losing it there we go and then we'll do the two behind it so one two one two and final two there we go sorted so you can see it's starting to bridge up which is really really good we don't want it to be too sharp because otherwise it won't look like the TARDIS but we don't want it to be too um, like small like it is now because that looks a bit too you know it doesn't look the worst but it doesn't look the best we can definitely get it better so this is what we have so far we have the first jump going up here the second jump of the three and the third jump of the uh, the blocks just there so after that third jump we are going to go up by adding in another lots of three again so like so doing the three points and again these will go into the singular lines on the sword soids <laughs> i lost my accent <laughs> right so we do this then this one and then back on ourselves all the way to here and then back there we go awesome now we do another one of these twos then we do another three and then we're onto the top so another one of these twos which means we need to go one two and then again, two, 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 and then we need to connect them on the corners. All the way around. Almost there like that but of course you need to make the surface area bigger so we do one block two three one two three so basically for the next stage we need to add in three blocks as well which is kind of cool there we go now let's take another three obviously three singulars in a diagonal this the pattern doesn't really change too much up here but it, it can get a little bit complicated so it's good to take our time that is good but this one has a little bit more of a surface area as well so we're actually going to connect these on the backs by just adding in two blocks all the way around 
And then this one connects, obviously, like normal. On all four of our sides as well. Like so. But instead of going just straight up to another two in here, we will go... Uh, we want to leave ourselves two blocks. So I'm going to make this into a bit more of a point just here. And then I'll do that one there and there. So it's like this. So it's kind of like it has two blocks before going to the diagonal corner. So again, I'm just going to add in three. And here. And here as well. And then for the, my next jump or my last jump, I'm just going to do the two. I'm going to go in here. One, two, one, two. Like so. And then these should be able to be run to the other side. Here and here. There and there. You notice how there's a bit of a trench that we're leaving behind. That's actually really good. We want only two blocks to be there instead of the one. So we can fill this in now, at the same layer. Which is kind of satisfying to see it all kind of sink away is very good there we go awesome we have that massive space inside for our TARDIS interior which is very helpful courtesy of Mr. Charlex and then we're going to need to build up the top to build our flashing light on top of course but not before marking out where our TARDIS will go on the interior so let's do that now okay then assassins we've added one last material to our lovely inventory here we're taking a pearlescent frog light as well we're going to need that for the big flashing light on top of the TARDIS Let's jump on into the TARDIS down here. Geronimo! <laughs> and then what we want to do is go to one of the corners here, the inner sides that are made up, of course, of six blocks. So you want to break out, punch out a second. Now, we don't want to build directly here because that obviously be, you know, not great. So we're going to go and just fill in the line here just so we know that that is our starting point just here. And now we can take ourselves four of our frog lights so find the middle of the six obviously this entire thing is six which is helpful so this is five in the middle sorry this is six in the middle here so of course we know middle two middle two that's where we're starting so we build ourselves four like so then we want to go one two three one two three we do another three one two three and over here one two three then we do two and then one one and again two one one and then we'll do ourselves one two one two three one two three one two three four one two three one two three one two one 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 two one two three one two three one two three four one two three one two three one, two, one, 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 two, just up here. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and back to the ones. So you have yourself a massive circle in the center just here, and that is perfect. That is what is going to be um, used to build ourselves the interior over on Mr. Charlex's channel. So that is gonna be very, very important to get built. Okay, so definitely, definitely get that done if you wanna go ahead and furnish yourself your TARDIS. So yeah, that's that. That looks awesome. If you wanna go ahead and save yourself some time as well, you can find the middle block. Of course, you wanna use the fours to find that. So you just line up with the two there and then the two on this side, so this way a bit more. So those four just in there. And if you kind of sit in the hole, you can sort of see you're in the middle just there, perfect. And then we'll just do a bit of a surrounding shape just there so you know that is the center. That is where your central console, the TARDIS, will be. Let's just double check. Is that in the middle? It is. It just looks a little bit off kilter when I was kind of flying up. There we go. That's good. Awesome. So let's get back out to the roof. A little bit trippy on the way out, but just close your eyes. <laughs> All right. Back up here. So this one. We now need to go ahead and build diagonally four in on these points. So number one, two, three, four. And then on the fifth one, we'll build up on the diagonal. So just there for one. 
It's a bit complicated because we have those, but if I remove those a second, I have one, two, three, four. On the fifth one, raised up one. So I'm gonna do the same on all four sides before continuing. One, two, three, four on five. Cool, you can see they line up with each other, which is great. One, two, three, four, five. And then this one, one, two, three, four, five. Make sure they all go to five before uh, building in, otherwise it can get a little bit complicated. And then we'll go ahead and make these into the central point here for the big light on top. So they're gonna be like on a platform kind of thing. So a big square up here. You fill in these blocks at the same layer. So these ones here, all the way around can just be filled in. Nothing actually going on here, which is really helpful for us. So just kind of flatten it over like a pancake. Oh man, I'm craving pancakes right now. And, uh, <laughs> and then we'll be good to go. So that one, then this one. Almost there now. And then this one. Oops. And then what we do is we'll go up to the middle. We'll build in on the corners. There we go. And then we'll take ourselves two blocks. Well, a block higher to build this inner kind of silhouette here. This inner shape. So it should look just like this. And it's sort of surrounding or giving you a little window into the interior here at the moment, which is kind of cool. But we are of course gonna now close that up by adding in one, two, and then going one, two, three, to build in that little shape there. Two, three after it, two, three after it, two, three after it. So we have four sides there worth four blocks each, just like so. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and build a point here, 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 and here, and then go up to four blocks in height. One, two, three, four. On all of these, like so. And then we'll build two blocks kind of levitating over each of these pillars. There you go, just like so. And on the top, you just wanna close off by adding in four blocks. And in here, in the center, we'll do ourselves pearlescent frog lights for these four. You may have to punch yourself out just so you can get out. <laughs> there you go. And then all we'll do down here is adding ourselves some more blue terracotta before then taking ourselves the light blue stained glass pane for the actual light just in here. Or to give the light the actual bluish kind of look up here. There we go. Awesome. Now there's a couple more details that we need to add in, uh, like the handle for the front door. That would be helpful. Um, but then we have completed our TARDIS, which is awesome. So literally, the last details to actually make this into a TARDIS and make this into a police box, we're going to need ourselves some of these materials just here. We're going to need ourselves some blocks of iron, some white concrete powder, and some black concrete. That is it. First things first, we will go to, well, take any side you wish because they're all the same. I'm going to go to this side just over here. I'm going to go to down here uh, underneath this window here. I'm going to go just a block in on the uh, panel and a block down, so here. I'm going to take black concrete here all the way down until I'm one block from the panel as well, so from the panel's bottom. Take that how you want, just there. And then over this way, we'll do the same. So a block in and a block up and a block before stopping, you know, before the panel ends. Black concrete just in here. Then we'll do ourselves two blocks up from uh, the first black concrete. One, two. On the third one, we'll do a line of black concrete. We'll leave another two and do one here and over this way one before doing another row above it. Then we'll leave another one and we'll do another row. We'll come up here on the uh, blue terracotta. We'll go one, two, and on the third one, block of uh, black concrete, leave a block, another concrete, and above here, another line. And then up top, we'll start with our white concrete powder in here. 
for these two rows. And then we'll fill in basically all of the blue terracotta amongst the, um, the black concrete. And it kind of looks like an angry villager in here, which I didn't really realize until I sort of finished. So that's kind of my bad. But angry villager TARDIS, you know, that's pretty cool too, I guess. <laughs> and then down here to finish it off, we do ourselves the two layers of white concrete powder as well. So there we go, that's all the information about the police box. And then over here, we'll add a handle onto this one. So the handle will go just here on this line. One block of iron. Diagonally down, we need five, two, three, four, five, and a block in here to get to this row of black concrete. Down here for the other handle, or the actual main handle and the lock, we want to go from the top of this panel, counting one, two, three, four, five, and six, and it's going to be on the sixth one here, and seven, just there. And then we'll leave a gap of about six again, one, two, three, for five and on six again we'll do one block for the handle and then we'll build here for one uh oh actually we'll build out from this one yeah we won't want to build it inside otherwise you can't actually hold the door open so then we'll build out here four six going down instead of five two three four five six and a block in just here so you now have yourself a door just over here you can imagine and this one is, of course, the police box information and probably the telephone up there as well. Awesome. And then, yeah, if you want to go ahead and finish this entirely, go ahead and check out Mr. Charlix's channel where you can find a full interior tutorial as well. So, yeah, that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Well, that's it, Assassins. Thank you so much for joining me for another Minecraft tutorial. And thank you for being here for my first ever Doctor Who tutorial. It has been an absolute pleasure. I just want to say a huge shout out to Mr. Charlix for the invitation to do this collab with him. Um, I really appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much. And uh, like I said, guys, go and check out his channel in the description below to go ahead and finish up your TARDISes as well. But yeah, if you've enjoyed this one, please be sure to drop a like on it. That'd be really appreciated. If you're new around here and want to stick, a, stick around, stay tuned, whatever, for future Minecraft tutorials, definitely consider subscribing. I promise you my speech does get better sometimes. Rarely, but yeah, besides the point, I hope you enjoyed the build. <laughs> and um, if you want to check me out on social media, all the links are in the description below. So definitely uh, follow me up on those. But yeah, guys, let me know your favorite doctor in the comments below. Uh, I just want to quickly say as well, I was kind of gutted because I was trying to find a Fez in the Minecraft store so I could wear it for this episode, but I couldn't find one, which is despicable. I also was trying to find like a big, long brown coat as well because David Tennant, Matt Smith, my favorite doctors. Ah, sad times. Anywho, thank you so much, guys. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And uh, yeah, see you at the next Minecraft tutorial coming very, very shortly. Goodbye for now. Thank you so much.